Just about a month ago, Nikon Philippines teased us that something wonderful is supposed to take place on March the 25th, telling us to save the date. Well, here we are, March the 25th, or at least an hour before March the 25th, but it's already March the 25th in Asia. Did we get a teaser of the Nikon Z8, a development announcement, or at least some leaked specifications? Details coming up, but first, please do me a favor. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe, share, choose all notifications, like, comment, and all that good stuff. It's greatly appreciated, means an awful lot to me, and really does help this channel grow. I was so excited when Nikon Philippines published this image on their Facebook page. And like you, I waited to see what might happen at the end of the month. Would we start getting teaser videos like Nikon did with the Nikon Z9? Would we get some sort of development announcement or something else? Well, here we are, March the 25th, well, at least March the 25th in the Philippines, and we're just a few hours away from March the 25th here in North America. And one of the things I said is I don't expect any sort of, well, announcement because it's the weekend, it's Friday, and we don't get announcements on Friday, definitely not Saturday. So what did we get? Well, the day started off with Nikon Day in the Philippines for 2023. It started off in the morning with a registration and then a theme announcement and coaching, followed by a photo walk, a submission of entries, workshops, games, and raffles, and then, of course, announcement contest winners. But folks in the Philippines also got to save on various lenses. The Nikkor Z, 70-200 f2.8, the 24-70 f2.8, the 14-24, and many more lenses, as you can see here. And if you were lucky enough, you might even get a free Nikon cap, all done up in gray. Wow, pretty impressive. A whole day dedicated to Nikon. We also got deals on camera bodies, the DX series, the Z30. We got to save on the body alone with the kit and the dual kit or the dual zoom kit. But we also got to save on the Z50, the Z9. Look, a big savings on the Z9, the Z7 Mark II, the Z6 Mark II, and even the Z5. And to cap things off, at the end of the day, we got a teaser video for the Nikon Z8. No, no, we didn't. But wouldn't that have been the perfect way to end Nikon Philippines Day? They teased us with this date, save the date for March the 25th. And they had a whole day of events. Wouldn't it have been amazing? Wouldn't it have been just the cherry on the top? The strawberry, if you're an American, you like a strawberries. I know you guys love strawberries so much. You even get them in hotels on your pillow or something, I, I've heard. I know it's not true with every hotel, but it would have been, well, it would have been really nice to get a teaser video of the Nikon Z8, or at the very least, a development announcement. And we got nada. That's it, nothing. Crickets chirping, no teaser video, no, no, <laughs> nothing. Uh, no teaser video, no uh, development announcement, no leaked images, no leaked specifications, absolutely nothing. Crickets chirping, and here we are, we're getting ready to go into April. And rumors from Nikon Rumors have been saying that we're supposed to be getting the Nikon Z8 probably towards the end of April, early May. And to start getting some teaser videos right around now, on March the 25th, I mean, Nikon day of all days. It should be a statutory holiday, I'm sure you can imagine. We should also have a Canon day and, of course, a Sony day. Why not, right? Do a whole week of... We can start Monday off with OM Systems Day. We can do Panasonic Day, Nikon Day, Canon Day, and Sony Day, and just have a whole week of special events. I think it would be more popular than Christmas. Ah, <sighs> yeah. You know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to go into a boardroom and I'm not going to do anything like Casey does from cam Camera Conspiracies, going fading to black, doing a black and white monochrome. But just imagine having a week of Canon Day, Nikon Day, a day for everybody where we can have the day off a statutory holiday where we can enjoy our cameras and get teased with, well, at least it would be nice if we got teased with the Nikon Z8. So where does that leave us with the Nikon Z8? I know I really want to see this camera. I'm really looking forward to it. I, a lot of people think that we're going to get a camera very similar to the Canon EOS R5, to the Sony a7R5, but I think you agree with me. We want to see a camera that's better than these cameras. After all, the R5 has been out for almost three years, two years and about seven months. Or well, actually, no, it's more than that. So, yeah, what, two and three quarter years since the R5 was out. Now, the, the, the Sony a7R5... That was just announced and started shipping at the end of 2022. But um, yeah, I'm a, I still think that Nikon, the Z8, should be a better camera than both of these cameras in terms of, well, uh, video resolution, uh, refresh rates, Apple ProRes 422, maybe do um, 8K60, do Apple ProRes RAW, not just in 4K, but 8K as well. Provide us with some really great capabilities for video. 
but also provide us with some amazing stills capabilities. And what we're thinking we're gonna get based on the latest Nikon rumors is the Nikon Z8 is gonna have the same sensor and um, I'm projecting it's gonna have the same image processor as the Nikon Z9. So that tells us it's gonna be around 45 megapixels, which means we're not gonna get any sort of oversampled 8K, but it will be pretty fast. Now it won't have the same buffer capacity and speed as the Nikon Z9, of course, but still, um, if it can at least match what the Canon EOS R5 can do at 20 frames per second, lossless raw, uh, they could even boost that up to 30 frames per second, but maybe limit it to JPEG or something else. Look what they did with the Z9, it can do 119 frames or 120 frames per second at 11 megapixels. So there's certainly an awful lot they can do with the Nikon Z8. And it's Nikon's chance to not just say, hey, here's our answer to the Canon EOS R5. Here's our answer to the Sony A7R5. It's Nikon's way of saying, yeah, the R5, it's a great camera. Thank you for the inspiration. And Sony, a great job with your A7R5 too. But take a look at our Nikon Z8. It's got you both beat. You see, that's what I want to hear. And yes, I'm a Canon shooter. I shoot with Canon cameras, but that doesn't mean I don't appreciate Nikon's history and all the wonderful cameras they've produced from the D series, like the D5, the D6, the D850, and even the Z6, the Z6 Mark II, the Z7 Mark II. They're all wonderful cameras. They, they produce really, really good results. So I'm really excited to see what Nikon's going to do with the Nikon Z8. And I think it was a huge miss on their marketing department globally to not come out with some sort of teaser videos to, well, kind of kick off Nikon Day in the Philippines. And I know what some of you are thinking, yeah, but that's Nikon Day in the Philippines. What does that have to do with the rest of the world? Well, if we go back to what Canon did with the R5, Canon came out with a development announcement. And then a few, well, I wouldn't say months later, a few weeks later, Canon Australia came out and did their own thing with their own way of doing things, teasing a bit more saying, the king is back. And then it was tag team back over to Nikon USA, sorry, Canon USA, where at NAB 2020, that's when they said, oh yeah, all that stuff we were talking about, yes, it's gonna do 8K oversample 4K without a crop, full sensor readout. We're gonna have IBIS in camera and it's gonna be able to do all that. Plus it's gonna be 20, for, you know, and they went on saying, this is what it can do. And a lot of people who are just, I don't believe this, this is too good to be true, were kind of shocked. Of course, fast forward to July and we found out that the camera had some rather severe overheating. And while that's been fixed in future firmware updates, going back and taking a look at what Canon did for five months, they really dominated the news cycle. And Nikon can do the same thing here. It's free, it's free. All they have to do is put out a simple teaser video that might cost them $50,000. And then everyone's gonna talk about it. I'm certainly gonna talk about it. Chuck over at AP, AP Studios is gonna talk about it. Vahography is gonna talk about it. And many, many others. And I think this was a missed opportunity if we are getting the Nikon Z8 announced around early May or late April, they should be starting a teaser video festival one every week up until that point and doing some other things, getting us interested, leaking some images, leaking some specifications. But sadly, they didn't. But if you wanna stay up to date on all the latest news and rumors regarding the Nikon Z8, what leaked specifications or leaked images we might be getting, well, go ahead and subscribe and choose all notifications because as soon as I get anything, I'm gonna publish it in a new video. And by subscribing and choosing all notifications, as soon as I publish that video, you'll get notified. Just make sure you check your spam and junk folder because sometimes the emails come in there. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have yourself a great weekend, and I hope we'll see you again soon.